Welcome to YouTube Excel Lookup Function Series number four. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook. Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, in this number four, you are not going to believe it. We're going to use the VLOOKUP function three times in one formula to calculate some tax expense. Now, look at our setup here. We have an income statement, and our goal is to calculate the tax expense. And I'm going to start by just doing it in one cell and talking about one number. Now, we're going to use three VLOOKUPs to deliver three different things to a formula. We're going to have to look at this table, talk about it, and then later we'll actually build the formula. In fact, when you get to a complicated formula like this, it's helpful to actually do it in your head before you even get to the more complicated one. So let's try it. Let's look at our table first. Here we have, let me blow this up. Boop, boop. We have $117,628.92. That's our income before tax, and our goal is to calculate the tax. Now let's look at our table over here. Here's a tax table, and here's the way it's going to work. Well, the way you see it in the tax records is this is over but not over, right? So if your income is over zero but not over 50000 then you're going to have a 15% tax rate. If your income is over 50 k but not over 75, get it? 75 is not included on this line. It's included on this line, right? So if you're between these two, you have $7,500 from this bracket right here that you owe plus... Whatever amount is over 50,000, you have to multiply by 25%. Now, let's go look at our amount. Oh, yeah, 117,000, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to come and look, take this number, come over here, and I've actually set up a new column. This is the way you see it in the tax records. But I set up a new column so that the VLOOKUP would work with this. Zero, uh, 50,000 and one. So the first value that would be included on this line is 50,001. You have to round taxes to the dollar. So look, we come racing down this first column in V lookup, right? We say 101, uh, 335,000. That's bigger than our 117. So we bump into this and we go back to this row. Now, here's how it works. You come over here to this column right here. Oh, yeah, we owe 22250 from all of the earlier brackets. Then we have to take this lower uh, side of the, the class here, 100000 Anything above 100000 we have to uh, multiply by 39%. The way we do that is we take our 117000 Minus the 100,000, the difference we'd multiply by this 39. Now look at this. We're going to have to use this value, this value, and this value. Three values from this one line in a view lookup. Now, it's going to be uh, more complicated when you do the formula. So let's do a simple formula. See if we can use this number, this number, this number to calculate the tax. And then we'll use the view lookup. So I'm going to scroll over here. And in this cell right here, I'm going to see if I can create my formula. Ready? Equals, and I'm going to go over to my tax table and click on this 22,000, because that's the amount we owe from all of the earlier brackets. And then I'm going to go plus, and in parentheses, I'm going to say, oh, yeah, the 117,000 minus the 100,000 from right here. And this is the amount that's been taxed from all the earlier brackets. And I'm going to put a close parentheses. So, so far I have the tax from the earlier bracket minus our current um, income minus the 100000 that's already been taxed. And then I'm going to multiply this by what? The 39%, all on the same line. And I'm going to hit Control-Enter. And there it is, that 29000 In fact, I'm going to add a comma style up here, $29,125.28. So that is our... Uh, amount that we're shooting for. Now, I'm going to uh, F2 here to get this. And notice, uh, this amount here is going to be a VLOOKUP. So that's going to be our first VLOOKUP. This amount right here is going to be VLOOKUP. And so is this. Let's just go look at this in the table over here and in our minds say what we're going to do. I can't seem to get it all onto the screen. Escape. Boop, boop. I'm going to hit F2 to show us the uh, 
Now watch this. In our formula right here, this is going to be a VLOOKUP pulling something from column two. This is going to be a VLOOKUP pulling from something from column four. And this is a VLOOKUP pulling something from column five. So let's go see if it's going to be easier for uh, creating the formula. So I'm actually going to highlight this whole range right here. All the numbers for the first column and then column two, three, four, five. I'm going to go up to the name box and I'm going to call this uh, tax. Nice easy name. Enter. So I'll cell G63. And I'm going to start off by saying equals V lookup. And we need our all of our arguments. Lookup value, table array, column index, and whatever um, the zero or one is for our last range. Now, the lookup value is going to be our income from right above. But look at that. This formula, because of the zoom and the column size, is kind of crowding out our ability to take our cursor and click right there, one cell above. So this is where your arrow keys come in handy. Arrow up. You can kind of see the dancing ants, that little flashing line splashing around. It means I got the right cell. Then I'm going to type comma. The table array, hey, we named it tax. If you forget your name, just hit the F. Three key F3 brings up paste name and you can double click tax. So there it is. We have our lookup value and our table array. Now comma and our column index. Remember the first thing we want is our 22,000 uh, 22,000 right there. So that's from the fourth column. The fourth column. So I'm going to type four. Um, this is going to be an approximate match to so when I type comma, approximate. But guess what? You can leave this one off. This is the default. If you leave it off, you don't have to type it in. You don't have to type in true or the number one. So I'm going to backspace and close parentheses. I just want to see if that VLOOKUP actually got the right thing. Oh, it did. Now I'm going to hit F2 to get back into edit mode. And now what I need to do is I need to add. So I'm going to plus, open parentheses. I'm going to get one cell above because remember we need 17,000. Now my arrow key is not moving up, so I'm gonna, when that happens in your formula, when you get out of uh, point and click mode, you can hit the F2 key. And now when I up arrow, I'll get the right cell. That minus, and now this is a V lookup. This needs to get the value from the second column. But watch this. I'm going to do a trick here. I'm going to highlight this right here. Zoop, right in the middle of formula creation. Very carefully highlight it. Control C. Very carefully click right there. Or sometimes it's even easier to click up here. I'm going to be very careful. And then Control V. And that, since it's from the second column, I'm going to type a number 2. Now look at that. That's a parenthesis right there. We took the 17,000, but this VLOOKUP is just going to deliver 100K to this cell. So we need to very carefully click up there. It's probably safer to click up there and put close parentheses. Now, we have our 22,000. That's what that VLOOKUP is going to deliver. Then we have 117 minus, and this is going to deliver 100,000. So close parentheses, close parentheses. Now I'm going to do times, and I need my third VLOOKUP. So I'm going to control V. And this one is going to be not from column four. We need, remember, we need the 39% here, and that's from column five. So I'm going to scroll over, and I'm going to very carefully highlight that and type a five. And that is how to use three V lookups in a formula. Again, the simplicity of starting doing it by hand before you get into the complex V lookup. Uh, formula really helped us here. Now I'm going to control enter, and there it is, $29,129,129.48. Uh, $129, now I'm going to copy it.